Well, hi, my friends. It's Pastor Phil again. I'm coming to you once again from my office. Hope you had an awesome Christmas. Hope you had an awesome New Year. Hope everything was going well when you went back to school this week. Do you remember the old movie Wizard of Oz? There's a scene in it where the Scarecrow, Dorothy, and the Tin Men are walking down the yellow brick road when they're worried about some possible creatures that they may run into. Do you remember this scene? Tigers and bears. Lions. And tigers. And bears. <gasps> Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. Lions and tigers and bears. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my! 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 How do you think you would respond if you ever ran into a lion, or a tiger, or a bear in the wild? I don't know about you, but I would be scared. But I want to talk to you about a story in the Bible about a man named Daniel who stood up for what was right, for his belief in God. And he got thrown to some of those scary creatures. Just take a moment and watch. Stories of the Bible, Daniel in the Lion's Den. This is Daniel. Oh, hey. Who was a Jewish man who was taken to Babylon when he was very young. Mm -hmm. Daniel loved God and followed God's rules. He talked to God three times a day and asked God for help often. Daniel served in the Babylonian king's court for many years. Yeah, I know him. And under many kings. Hey, Daniel. Daniel always proved himself to be more capable than all the other court officials. I hear a lot of things. Well, anytime. Daniel was serving under King Darius, and because of his great abilities, the king made plans to place him in charge of the entire empire. Wow, okay. The other court officials searched for some fault in Daniel, but they couldn't find anything wrong with him. He was faithful, responsible, and completely trustworthy. The court officials realized the only way to get at Daniel would be to challenge his faith. Come on! So they went to King Darius. <laughs> Excuse me, your majesty. And advised him to make a law that for the next 30 days, any person who prays to anyone except King Darius will be thrown into the lion's den. I like it. King Darius signed this law, and once a Babylonian king signed a law, it could not be overruled. When Daniel learned of this law, he went home and knelt down, as he always did, to pray in his room with the windows open towards Jerusalem. He prayed three times a day, just as he always had done, giving thanks to God and asking for his help. The officials went to Daniel's house and found him praying. Gotcha! They went to the king and reminded him of the law. I remember. Well... Then they said that Daniel had been found praying to God three times a day. What? When the king heard this, he was very upset. Get over here. And he spent the whole day trying to think of a way to save Daniel. Wait, what? By that evening, the court officials came back to the king <coughs> and reminded him that no law signed by the Babylonian king could be overruled. So at last, the king gave orders for Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den. The king said to him, May your God, who you serve faithfully, rescue you. Then the lion's den was sealed shut with Daniel inside. The king spent the night fasting and couldn't sleep. Then very early in the morning, the king hurried to the lion's den. He called out, Hey, Daniel! Was your God able to rescue you from the lions? And Daniel answered, Long live the king! 
My God sent his angel to shut the lion's mouth so that they would not hurt me, for I have been found innocent in his sight. The king was overjoyed and ordered that Daniel be taken out of the lion's den. Then the king ordered the men who had schemed against Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den as punishment. Daniel was safe. There was not a scratch on him, for he trusted in God. Friends, what's amazing about the story of Daniel is yes, God spared him from those lions. But what's more amazing, Daniel didn't know what was going to happen, but he trusted and believed in God, the God who would love him and take care of him. Friends, my prayer for you is that you always stand for our Lord and Savior Jesus, that you turn to him with your problems, that you come to him with your needs and know this, he loves you so much. Would you pray with me? Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for the example of Daniel in the Bible who reminds us of the importance of following you. And Lord, we thank you for that amazing miracle when you shut the mouths of the lions. But what's more important is Daniel trusted you. May we trust you as well. We pray all this in Jesus Christ's holy name. Amen. Well, friends, I invite you now to, to get up, get the wiggles out. Miss Susan is going to lead us once again in another children's song. Hi! How's it going? Still got the tree. No one's behind the tree today, but we still got the tree. Is your tree up? Mine's still up. I sometimes keep mine up to like February or March, but you know, that's just me. So I brought a couple more friends. We got Chip and Dale gonna sing with us. Since we have Chip and Dale, we might as well sing about their friend, the hippo. Hippo song, woo! So lots of motions for this, lots of stomping, lots of voice changing, so you gotta get ready. We're gonna have some fun. We always have some fun. Get the waves going. In the beginning, God made the sea. Here we go. One, two, three. In the beginning, God made the sea. And the forest filled with trees. He made the mountains up so high. But at all, he placed the sky. God's fingerprints are everywhere. Just to show how much he cares. And in the middle, he had lots of fun. He made a hippo that weighed a ton. Hip, 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 oh, hip, 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 hip
Bye-bye.